Hello everybody. Our next camera is a revisited camera. This is a different copy, but this is the Olympus Infinity Stylus Epic. Uh, that's the name in the U.S. The rest of the world, it was known as the Mu 2. This is the DLX version in gold, silver, whatever this is. I don't want to get into that whole what color is this dress thing. Anyway, it's not black. Um, and this one actually has the panorama switch. It's kind of cool. Um, you know, like most things that have panorama, it just brings these shutters down and chops it off at the top and bottom. One interesting thing, you need the battery in it to see the panorama in the viewfinder. I'll try and get a picture of it because it has translucent pieces that show you the framing and that doesn't work without the battery. So I don't know if that's an LCD overlay or what, but anyway, it's kind of cool. And we'll get into all the specs. I'll link to the original uh, Stylus Epic uh, video down below. It was from the uh, original product project, so that video doesn't have any uh, images in it. They're linked over on the blog. Anyway, the reason I'm revisiting, I took this out. Uh, wife and I did a trip around uh, Ghost Ranch, took a little hike, and I'm taking care of a sick kitty at home. So I'm staying close to home and decided to revisit it, revisit this. Um, prices on these things have gotten a little crazy. Uh, I was checking the online auction site. These are going from 200, a little over 200 US dollars, um, sometimes for a parts camera, up to over 500 US dollars if it's black and in really good shape and has the box and the manual. I mean, I love these cameras. I don't know if I'd pay 500 bucks for them. I'd probably still pay, you know, 200 for it. Anyway, it has, you know, a super sharp 35 millimeter, millimeter f2.8 lens. That's why this one is in such demand. Um, it is a great camera. It's tiny. It's weatherproof, not waterproof. Don't submerge it. Um, and it takes great shots. Uh, sometimes it can biff the uh, focus, like this uh, lock picture, but any camera can be fooled like that. It focuses on the background and misses, uh, you know, what's in front. If the autofocus system can see what's behind it better or just as easily. Um, this roll I got processed and scanned at the camera shop of Santa Fe. Thankfully, uh, that business survived the pandemic. Um, and they're going to be teaming up with KEH here in, in, uh, in Santa Fe on April 7th, 8th, and 9th of 2022, just in case you're seeing this in the future. So if you have used uh, equipment uh, you'd like to sell, uh, give them a call. They're doing walk-ins and taking appointments. I'll put the details uh, down in the uh, description below. So anyway, I took uh, another copy of this guy out. I enjoyed it as much as I did uh, the first time when we had done a trip to El Paso and Juarez. So I'm on to a, uh, a Zoom version of this guy, and I will see you then.